Hey guys, so um, I'm making a video and yes, it's on my phone, so I'm sorry that's crappy, but I'm going to be talking about the ad apocalypse that's happening right now, and um, I personally think it's full, because, I mean, I understand what YouTube is doing, but, um, why are these companies pulling their ads from children's channels that are uploaded? And then it affects us adult people on YouTube or video YouTubers, adult YouTubers. It affects us too. And yes, there are going to be pedos on YouTube. There's titles everywhere, but the ad people shouldn't have, shouldn't want to go away just because of that. They should have a legitimate reason why they want to go. Um, I mean, it, it's frustrating because it affects us smaller YouTubers, such as myself. I have two friends, uh, Tristan Robinson. And Miss Marley, me, or I'll I'll link both of them in the description. Actually, I'll describe all YouTubers in my description that I mentioned. Those two first. Kelsey Davis. Um, another buddy of mine that also makes videos. So I mean, it not only affects me, but also affects a whole other a lot a lot of other people, and I find that. So stupid because I mean some of us actually uh, or not, YouTube is like 90% of our some of ours money is where we get from YouTube and um, I mean I understand what YouTube is doing and they're trying their best to fix this but it's because of uh, that one guy can't remember his name, but he screwed us over and wanted to start another ad apocalypse. And people like him that give make this platform so hard to do because it just makes it not only affects that person that they're talking about, but it affects the whole entire community. I mean, besides the big YouTubers, because. The Paul Brothers, they have merch, they have their own business, businesses to run, um, and they're rich. I mean, all 8, mil, 8 million subscribers who have, YouTubers who have 8 million subs above is just bloated, in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, what, what about us YouTubers who have, like, between a thousand, between fifty to a hundred thousand subs. What are we supposed to do? Because we're not getting that much money, if at all. Um, and what about the non-profit people, you, channels on YouTube? Do they get thrown away too, or what happens there? It affects all of us, and we need to rise up against this. And tell YouTube to any other companies going away too to pick up their game and fix this. Because I know one day, hopefully, this will be a full time thing for me. And if this is what YouTube's going to do, then I'm probably just going to step away. And I'm not sure in 10 years, or not 10 years, in a month, a year from now, am I going to walk away? No idea. But it's just something we need to think about of what's happening in our community right now. So, thank you for watching.